how exciting is this? <laughs> well, it's obviously so very not August, so thank you for all of those who uh, have remained tuned in uh, ever since then. Uh, it uh, took us a little while, obviously. Uh, you can see by the long underwear, it's no longer August, <laughs> it's uh, December. But uh, it's very excited to get things rolling along. What, uh, what started out as a, a back of the beer mat calculation two and a half years ago, finally wound up in the garage. Uh, and this isn't CGI, this is actually, this is actually the real deal. That's, uh, that's pretty exciting. So uh, they came in uh, yesterday and hung all, of the, uh, uh, hung all the batteries on the wall. They're all anchored to the, to the wall. We've, we're running six Powerwall 2s. Uh, that gives us about 90 kilowatt hours of capacity, uh, 15 kilowatt hours each. Uh, each battery has a bit in reserve, uh, so you have about 13.2 kilowatt hours in, uh, in available power per power wall. It gives us a little over 80 kilowatt hours uh, in, in, in total. And uh, there you go. So we're very excited that we're finally able to get the ball rolling on this. It's been a long time coming. Um, this obviously is the first step in getting things online. This Friday, in a couple of days, we're going to actually be having them come back. They forced us to do an upgrade to our utility connection from 200 amps to 400 amps. That's all taken care of. But now they have to come back and they have to replace our breaker panel. So they're going to go ahead and replace the breaker panel, get everything hooked up, and we should be fired up on Friday, which will be very exciting. Um, this is the uh, other key element that they'll need to hook up. This is the Tesla Gateway, and it acts as a communications intermediary between the batteries and Tesla and your application so that you're able to actually remotely change the states of the battery. And that might actually become pretty handy as we move forward. This is going to get mounted on the battery here. So I'm not going to make this uh, uh, real long. This is basically, it is what it is. We've hung the batteries. Um, on Friday, we're going to have a, a small crew together to kick us off and raise a, raise a toast to finally starting the Energy Sovereignty Project. Again, thank you very much, all those who have been interested in this from the beginning. Uh, we really appreciate that, really appreciate all the comments that we've had up until now. They've helped us to drive the content so we can get some of those preliminary questions answered. Very helpful, very helpful. On uh, Friday, we already have permission to backfeed the grid. That was done when we got the solar put on the house. And because of that, we're actually going to be able to fire the system right up as soon as it's installed. So again, very exciting. Looking forward to uh, uh, filming that and bringing that to you. What we're going to do is, is that the very first thing, once we get permission to uh, uh, fire everything up from the building inspector, we're going to go ahead and charge the batteries fully. Once the batteries are fully charged, we'll record the moment we're going to shut the mains off. And then at that point, we're going to do a couple of tests. The actual energy sovereignty project is going to start on January 1st. 2019 and it'll run for a year and then we'll do an assessment. Obviously, we're going to continue this on, uh, but uh, uh, during the course of that year, we'll be able to bring to you the, the actual numbers of what it takes to run a home on nothing but battery power and solar. And we'll be able to see how much power we actually have to draw off of the grid, how much power we can actually get into the electric vehicle from roof to wheels, uh, again, we discussed earlier about the losses that you, uh, uh, that you go through every time you have to go through an inverter from one of the power walls or from the main home inverter to bring the power actually to the car. So those will all be very interesting things to uh, examine as the, as the Energy Sovereignty Project progresses. So again, thank you very much for following along uh, and uh, we'll be looking forward to seeing you on Friday. I hope, uh, hope folks tune in. Uh, we might even make a live event of it. I'm not sure. So uh, uh, again, thank you very much. If you uh, if this is your first video that you've seen, check out some of the other videos that we have up. Uh, some of them will show the preliminary work that uh, that has gone on to getting us to where we are today. Um, and uh, please like and subscribe. Follow along as we continue this. I think we'll be touching on a lot of very important information for those that are interested in installing batteries in the home that have questions about how much capacity is right for me. And all of these involve actual numbers where you'll then be able to 
take a look at what we present, look at your power bill, and see how it applies to your individual situation. So again, thanks for joining us, and we hope to see you again soon.